welcome to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video you are going to learn a new concept known as inflationary gap so we all have heard about inflation but inflationary gap is one very important concept to learn if you are reading about macroeconomics so what it is there in inflationary gap so according to keynesian theory first thing which you have to keep in mind is that inflationary gap concept was given by Keynesian in his theory, which is a demand determined theory. So according to Keynesian theory, when the economy reaches full employment level, I'm underlining the keywords here for inflationary gap. The output cannot be increased further and hence the increase in aggregate demand beyond this point adds to rise in prices only. Although Keynes believed in his assumptions that there is going to be a rigidity in prices as well as in wages. And because of that rigidity, you never reach the full employment level, unlike what classicals believed. Because according to classicals, the economy is always going to be at full employment level. Any disequilibrium created in the economy would be corrected itself by the market and it will eventually come back to full employment. Later on, during the progress years of the economy, maybe the economy reaches its employment level. So if we keep aside those assumptions, or if we talk about more progress, so that the economy has reached its full employment level, according to Keynes, because you cannot produce output greater than full employment, whatever resources were available to you, they have been fully employed, so you cannot produce output greater than that. What would happen? Now you were producing 100 units. That is the capacity of your economy. You cannot produce greater than that because you don't have labor available for that. You don't have capital available for that. But what if the demand comes out to be 120? What will you do? What will you do to satisfy that extra 20 units demand? You cannot supply greater than 100. So the only thing which happens is there will be a rise in prices because whenever the demand is greater than supply that leads to increase in prices or we call it price rise which is nothing which is the concept of inflation. So this is same is written here hence the increase in aggregate demand beyond this point adds to rise in prices and no increase in output. Because even if the producers want to increase the supply, they cannot. The only reason is that there are no other resources free which are available for them. This increase in prices due to increase in aggregate demand is known as inflationary gap. So this is the concept of inflationary gap. That is the increase in prices due to the increase in aggregate demand over and above the full employment output level. Now the next question is why there is sudden increase in aggregate demand? Why when the people who are fully employed, how their demand is going greater than what the economy is producing? Because we say whatever is being produced, that is only distributed among the people of the economy or among the factors of production. So how their demand is greater than what they are being supplied? The thing is, aggregate demand can exceed because of certain factors. Maybe the government has increased their spending by borrowing money from somewhere. Maybe the government have done a monetary policy in which they are increasing money supply using different measures of that. So these are few of the examples through which aggregate demand can increase. There are another examples also. Now, Hence, inflationary gap is the amount by which the actual aggregate demand exceeds the level of national income corresponding to full employment level. So, inflationary gap is the difference between the actual aggregate demand and the full employment output of the economy. Okay, let's try to understand inflationary gap with the help of this diagram. As you can see here, this is the supply curve of my economy. Now, these are aggregate demand. So, this is aggregate demand 1, let us say, before it increases. And this corresponds to aggregate demand 2, which 
like aggregate demand two is higher than aggregate demand. Now my economy is at a full employment here. So as soon as my output will reach here, I will achieve full employment. I cannot increase output beyond this point. So if let's say this is my supply curve, this is my aggregate demand at the point of intersection, which is point number E, I have full employment output. So if my demand increase greater than that, I will have inflationary gap. Let's say the government increased government expenditure by borrowing money from somewhere else. So aggregate demand rises to AD2 here. So now where is this AD2 intersecting supply curve at point H? So at H, the output is Y2, which is greater than YF, which is not possible. I cannot produce beyond the YF level of output. So what is going to happen? Now, what is going to happen is very simple. So my output is YF, whereas my demand is given by this point. So now I, I cannot get, I, I, my demand cannot get satisfied. So I will come back to this point T here. So what is happening? Because my demand was not getting satisfied at this point, I will come back to the point till where I have my supply. So at point T, my demand is given by my new demand curve. Supply is given by the same old supply curve, but there is a gap between E and T. Earlier when demand was given by AD1, the price charge was this. Now due to the increase in AD1, the prices have increased. So this gap between E and T is my inflationary gap. If I overdo this, this gap is my inflationary gap. This increase in price is my inflationary gap according to Keynesian. So this is the concept of inflationary gap. Inflationary gap is also known as demand pull inflation because why are we calling it demand pull? So there are basically two types of inflation, demand pull and cost push. So this inflationary gap is given by demand pull because here the inflation is caused by increase in demand, by pulling off demand. So that is why, because too much demand chases too little supply over here. So this is the diagrammatic presentation of inflationary gap. Now the next is how to eliminate it. I know inflationary gap is there, but what are the solutions? So how to eliminate inflationary gap? By reducing government expenditure. So because of, because AD compromises of consumption, investment and government spending. Maybe because the aggregate demand has increased because of government expenditure. So government should reduce that. Even if the aggregate demand has not exceeded because of government spending, but if the government feels there is demand pull inflation, they should try to reduce their expenditure. Increasing the rates of existing taxes or bringing new taxes. Because whenever you will increase the taxes or you will bring new taxes, there the disposable income is going to fall. And as soon as disposable income falls, the consumption is going to fall. But with the taxes, government should not spend that money into the expenditure. Instead, it should be used for other purposes, maybe repaying loans or another purposes. So by imposing taxes, you can reduce disposable income and hence consumption. The another is contractionary monetary policy. So as soon as there is increase in money supply, people will have more cash in their hands. So expansionary mon uh, monetary policy can happen through various instruments. So I'm not discussing those instruments in this video. But whenever monetary policy expands or money supply expands, people have more purchasing power because of more availability of cash and their demand naturally increases. So when I will be, when the government will be doing the contractionary monetary policy, it will automatically lead to a fall in demand. So these are the few remedies to eliminate the inflationary gap. I hope the concept of inflationary gap is clear to all of you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and also please let us know in the comments section if you want videos from our side on any other topics. Thank you everyone for watching.